Hey golfers, here's a short extract from the Wheel Power Golf Swing Advanced Training Video Series. The Wheel Power Golf Swing, an easy way to understand and visualize Mike Austin's swing concept. The weight shift maneuver in the Wheel Power Golf Swing is probably the most important movement in this golf swing. A lot of the flaws that you may be initially experiencing are probably due to an improper weight shift maneuver. So before we move on, I want to go into a lot more detail on some flaws that you may be doing with this maneuver. We start with a 50% distribution of weight on each leg. Our goal is to shift our center of gravity so that 75% of our weight has shifted over to our right leg and then 75% of our weight shifts over to our left leg. We need to keep 25% of our weight on the alternate leg so that we have some support. There's a shift, there's a tilt, and there's a turn. Another common problem with beginners to this swing is that instead of shifting, they just tilt and they turn all their weight mostly onto their left leg. Remember in this maneuver, there's a very specific order. You start shifting, then you start tilting, and then you start turning. Here's another really important aspect of the weight shift maneuver. And this relates to your rear end. You need to feel that your rear end, both sides, are against a flat surface, like a wall. Your rear end must never go behind that flat surface or wall. So this is the way it works. Feel as though your rear ends, both sides, are against the wall. And when you shift, they're sliding along the wall. So you shift, you tilt, and now you turn away from the wall. What you don't do is shift, tilt, and turn so that your rear end goes behind the wall. Your rear end, both sides, never go behind that wall. So what we're emulating when we shift, tilt, and then when we turn, it's like we're a door or a gate that's turning on a post. We are not turning like this behind the wall. So going backwards, we shift, tilt, and turn away from the wall. And then our left rear end sort of comes back to the wall as we shift, tilt, and then we turn on our forward swing away from the wall. I'll do it from this angle as well. So we shift, we tilt, and then we turn away from the wall. Our left rear end comes back as we're shifting to the wall. And then we tilt and we turn away from the wall. We never go behind the wall. Now remember, the wheel power golf swing is a very simple concept. We're powering a wheel to turn and the club is attached to the rim of the wheel and it's being whipped around by the turning wheel. And as I described many times, the weight shift maneuver is causing your shoulders to dip up and down around a center point, which emulates a wheel turning hub. 
So to help you understand how all this works, here's the wheel, here's the hub of the wheel, which is our shoulders. This is the rim of the wheel. This is our wrists that are going to hinge. Our hands are actually hanging on inside here to the golf club. So when the wheel turns, the golf club is being pulled around by the turning wheel. So working backwards, here's a wheel without the hinge and the golf club. There's the hub of the wheel. And here's an axle, which I'll insert into the hub of the wheel. Okay, I've now secured the axle to the wheel hub. So you'll notice that when I turn the axle, the wheel turns. To make it easier to turn, I'm going to secure this turning handle to the other end of the axle. I've now secured the turning handle to one end of the axle, and the other end of the axle is already secured to the hub of the wheel. So you'll notice that when I turn the turning handle, the wheel turns. So you're starting to see that this is a really simple concept. I just need to turn the turning handle and the wheel hub will turn, causing the wheel to turn. And of course, the golf club attached to the rim is going to be whipped around. So here is how it all fits together. There's the hub of the wheel which you see in red in the center of this wheel. So my spine is the axle. So you're starting to see how this works. I turn the turning handle, which turns the axle, which is my spine, which turns the wheel hub, which is my shoulders. And that turns the wheel where my arms act like the spokes. Now this sounds pretty easy, but how do I make my spine turn by turning the turning handle? So obviously we can't turn like this turning handle does. So we have to do some type of emulation and what that is, is our weight shift maneuver. So use some imagination here. Imagine that you had no legs and I was standing under you and I held you by your hips. From underneath, I could turn your hips, causing the spine, your spine to turn, causing your shoulders to turn. But that's not possible. So the way we emulate it is through the weight shift maneuver, which creates this type of action. And this is what emulates the wheel turning machine. So hopefully this is helping you to understand the concept that our weight shift maneuver is emulating the wheel turning handle. So you can see now how we turn the wheel. It's critical that you get that weight shift maneuver done properly so all this works.
Be sure to visit our website to watch our free one-hour introduction video.